machine. It feels wrong. Where are we now? Oh. Burial mound. What the hell? So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, it enforces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. There it is. Why did you do this? Turn back. Why? Why would he bring her here? It's not safe here. Why would he do something so dangerous? And you can't get in. I'll never bring you here. Dilly, don't go in there. Go in. You the have torch. to go in. Take the torch. It's too dark. Take, Take it. it. This will help you. Careful. You have to be able to see. <gasps> Who's there? for the trials, like when we first met, remember? He's suddenly gone all Lara Croft on me. There he is. There he is. Dillian, there he is. Finally. You found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. You have to find him. This is your mission. Find him. You have to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He was just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she find him? Okay, so. Is there a path through here? Nope. about the way we came. That's definitely a dead end, I think. Yeah, that's a dead end. Okay. Can't see where that is to be the entrance. Let's go this way. I'll find him. <gasps> What's that? Huh? Did you hear that? Nothing. What's that voices? It's not his voice. It's the voice of the dead. Not Dillian. Dillian's calling to you. Can Where you hear he? him? Where is he? He sounds like he's getting further away. <gasps> Have you lost him? You're going. Sanua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Okay, so we're kind of like her then. Okay, so... Came from that way. Let's go this way. <gasps> oh, it's very dark around here. Oh, that's the entrance. Okay, I've turned myself around. I think we go right. Don't touch the walls. You don't know what they might do. Turn back. She has to keep going. It's not safe here. 
She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. I can hear him. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. Listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. Keep going. Send him follow the voice. You're nearly there. Dillian's voice. It's him. He's going to save you. It's definitely right. It's not him. It's not him. We told you. We told you it was a trick. Is it? This feels like a bad fucking idea. Dillian wants me to face my fears. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief and son. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. 
Ja nur. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Interesting. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be pointless. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You're being tested. You don't know. It's just their game for you. You never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> Those voices, man. I kind of like this. I'm going into Senua's psyche and a bit into her background. It's kind of interesting. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Oh, there he is. Face there. This way, I think. Maybe the bridge hold, probably. Made the bridge hole. Yep, there we go. What the? Okay. It's lighter. It's nicer. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What happened? The bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. I'm getting this way. No, maybe on the other side we can get in. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will he injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not unused. Let's try through here. Mm. Open the gate. She can't. Open the gate. It's locked. It's locked. Try harder. She can't. Try harder. She can't. <laughs> she, can't. she will. She'll find a way. She will find a way. Mm. Oh, this is the way. Face again. Now 
it's facing that way. have to go into the other world to get through. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. He was the only and Seno explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? He was the only one. I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. <laughs> this way. Oh, wait, hold on. I can open this up now. Yes, there we go. It's a little eye open. I'm thinking up here. Dillian saved you. Dillian cared mm. for her like no one else has. Dillian's the only reason she's still alive. I'm saying middle. Ah, there it is. Not in this world. No. Okay, that's fine. You can't. It's all good, ladies. Right, so we're gonna make he the world dark again. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior within. I don't like that at all.
Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend. Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes. Movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giant horse to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. He saw who she could be. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior within. See where we done. Oh, yeah. Wasting your. You have no time for this. Speed these rooms. These rooms mean nothing. Nobody wants to hear that. Can you remember what you feels like? Set your trials to distract you. Set you up, and now they're going to watch you. For what if these trials mean nothing?
What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if they're a trick? The gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in the world. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language. You don't understand. Sinbel was right. You're wasting time. You, you're a curse. No, quicker. No, okay, gotta change it back. Dillian never much cared for the underworld and looked dimly upon the druids like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. Down. She's she not is. going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Simon. Oh my god. 